Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And I just wanted to show you the emissions from this spark circuit. So we're going to connect it up to the battery. Okay. And we're going to turn on the spark generator. So right now we've got sparks coming out of the spark plug on the right hand side of the spark generator. And I should say that you need to be careful working with the spark generator because I can notice it in the house that the house is actually filling up with emissions that you can smell and it's likely to be ozone. So you shouldn't put this spark generator on for very long indoors. So we've got a variety of things that we're going to test the emissions of this with. And the first is going to be a compass. So here's the compass and we can see that the north is to the bottom of the screen and south is to the top. So let's see what happens when we go near it. So you can see that fields are being affected. You can see the field go up at the spark plug lead. So we come over this side actually see the spark plug. So it's not too bad over here, but the field is being affected. It's likely to be being affected by the metal in the spark plug. So that's the compass test. So let's move on to the wide band radio emissions. And we're going to do the usual AM radio test. We're tuned into static and you can be tuned in anywhere on the band as long as it's in the radio station. We're tuned in at 5.30. So let's turn it on and see what's going on. So we can hear the pulsing of the circuit. You can hear the spark flow. It's got a nice purple spark coming up it right now. So it's definitely radio frequency, wideband radio frequency emissions coming off this. So let's move on to magnetic fields. And we're going to use this magnetic field meter. So let's see what happens when we go near it. So we've got a pulsating magnetic field, which is kind of what you would expect around a sparking circuit. It's very high, so we're actually off the scale on this meter. So let's take a look at the spark plug. Okay, it's a little bit better down at the spark plug end. So the closer you get over here, the bigger the field gets. So we're quite low down here. So the next range we're going to go on is the electric field. And we can see that it's got a very, very large electric field around it. And the interesting thing is, when I, when I get close to that spark plug, I can actually feel the emissions coming up there. I can feel my nerves tingling. So yeah, it's very, very high electric field emissions. So something to be aware of when you're working with this stuff is that you want to limit your exposure to it because it can make you quite ill if you don't realize that these emissions there because the human body can't sense them. And it's very, very well known to make people sick. So we're going on to the last range on the tri field, and they call it the radio and microwave range. It's generally not very sensitive. Let's see what's going on. And let's go and check the spark plug. So yeah, I'm not really getting any emissions up in that range right now. So the last test we're going to do is an RF field strength test. Now it appears that this circuit does actually put out RF. We do seem to get some high readings coming off this. Let's go and have a little look at the other end. So we can see that around by the spark plug we certainly get some strange readings. 
And the thing with fields is they tend to be patchy. So you can be in a very high field and just move a few inches and go into a low field. That's the emissions of this system. And it has more emissions. It's clearly emitting purple light from the spark plug. And there may be forms of light coming off that spark plug that we can't actually test for because we don't have the emissions equipment. But it's possible it may even be giving out X rays. Sparks are known to do quite strange things. So there's some of the emissions that are present. The circuit definitely gives out emissions. And if you're going to play around with this circuit, I would recommend that you don't spend a lot of time with it and uh, keep your exposure minimal. And just be aware that you may get radio wave sickness from this circuit. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.